Most digital products need a download page of some sort. Whilst you can send things like PDFs as attachments to the thank you email that doesn't look too professional and runs the risk of the mail getting filtered into the spam or junk folder which increases your support time and costs. Most of the time it's best to send customers to download page. If you are using WordPress then there are plugins that can help you to keep the page away from prying eyes or you can password protect it if you prefer. Although in my view, that doesn't much reduce any illicit sharing, the kind of people who do that just post the password along with the download link and you just bug your paying customers. I think you should start your page with a simple thank you for your purchase message. It's just polite. Obviously you need to include the actual product on the download page. Depending on what the digital product is, this could be a zip file that the customer downloads to their computer or links to pages on your site. It could also be a link to a PDF or video. I prefer to set these links to open in a new window. It's easy to do that in WordPress or even regular HTML and it means that people aren't forever clicking the back button to get to the rest of the product they've just bought. If the link's opened in a new window, I'll explain that so that people aren't confused. Zip file downloads are very common now, and I tend to just mention that Windows and Macs will almost always handle them automatically, and that the only thing that's important is to remember where the files are extracted to, as that's not always intuitive or certainly isn't in Windows. If your content is delivered online, you may need to consider using some kind of system to keep it all logical. The precise method you use will be dictated by the complexity or otherwise of your product, but even for large projects, my preference is a simple list with links to the relevant parts. If you've got an Excel for your product, it's worth mentioning this again quite prominently on the download page. A lot of people instinctively scroll to the bottom of each Excel page and click the no thanks link without pausing to find out what it is they are declining. Your download page is your opportunity to sell the Excel again. In my experience, this can help sales of the Excel nicely. The other thing that's well worth including on your download page is a section of related offers. Some people use a bulleted list of two or three products that work well with what the original purchase covers. Others include a bucket list of all their other products. I've used both options on my download pages and both work so it's worth experimenting. If you haven't got any other products of your own, you can still do this by offering carefully selected affiliate products. And since you're selling to people who've trusted you enough to buy your digital product, they really do have to be carefully selected. At a minimum you should have seen the actual product, and ideally you should have used it or the methods it teaches yourself. Your reputation could easily be damaged if you recommend trash, and that's not worth doing for the sake of a quick buck.